Madam Speaker. Well, that's your speech, Rex. I took her speech. I guess I'll just have to do without it. Thank you very much, Mr. President, uh, and congratulations to you on your re-election as president of, uh, of this very, very, very important, crucial organization at this time. Uh, thank you to the NATO Parliamentary Assembly, to all of you for this wonderful award, which I will display with great pride in the Speaker's office in the Capitol as a constant reminder and inspiration of the work that you do and the importance of parliaments in the work of security, economy, governance, the issues that brought us here today. I'm honored to receive it from you, Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. President, Mr. President, that has a nice ring to it, the, uh, because of your great leadership on foreign policy and security for so many years in the Congress, of course recognized by your colleagues here, but also in the House of Representatives. I want you to know how respected his voice is in the Congress, and uh, again, we take great pride in his presidency of this organization. Thank you, Jerry Conway. So here we are in Lisbon, and here we are just honored not only by the beautiful hospitality and the cultural experience and all the rest uh, of, the, uh, of, of the Portuguese government and of the parliament, Mr. Speaker, but also by the seriousness of purpose of the comments that you both made here today. Mr. Speaker, it was an honor to hear the array of concerns that you, ch challenges that you place there, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, the values, the framework in which you put it, and then to hear Jerry talk about a new way uh, to look at all of this. Uh, clearly, listening to the Prime Minister and the Speaker, it's clear that the Atlantic Ocean does not divide us, but is unifying to us. The transatlantic relationship is one that we value Clearly you do. Uh, Lis uh, Lisbon, Portugal, has been, uh, shall we say, the master of the seas from the age of discovery. And now, and as you try with the COP26 and also uh, your initiatives on the oceans uh, to uh, protect that tremendous ecological resource. I last saw the Prime Minister in uh, uh, Spain, in Madrid, for COP25. Uh, where, again, your leadership was so evident, Portugal's leadership so evident. So it's an honor to be with you. To hear you talk about being one of the founding members of NATO is indeed a source of pride uh, to Portugal, but it is also a source of great pride to NATO that Portugal was one of the founding members, even in a time not as democratic as it is now, as the speaker referenced. It is... Um, exciting to be here and talk about the bipartisanship of multilateralism in the Congress of the United States. I think it's important to always make that point. Uh, you know, parliaments are important, bipartisanship is important, and I just want to acknowledge that still with us uh, are some of, the, of our other colleagues from all over the country. Congressman Rick Larson of Washington, Linda Sanchez of California, Brett Guthrie of Kentucky, John Garmendi of California, uh, Brendan Boyle of Pennsylvania, Neil Dunn of Florida, and Jennifer Gonzalez Colon of Puerto Rico. And that is an applause line, all of them. Could you please? <laughs> My colleagues. <laughs> 